Good evening, friends. I hope you're all doing well. I'm also fine. My name is Atikur Rahma, and I'm an AWS Certified DevOps Engineer. Today, I'm going to show you how you can use Cypress for end-to-end -end testing, authentication testing. So Cypress, it's a tool for doing authentication testing. I written a blog about it. So it's basically written in JavaScript, and um, you can do a lot of things here with Cypress, like functional testing, Integration testing, user acceptance testing, integration testing, acceptability testing, security testing, and also load generation. Today, I'm going to show you how you can install it. Test with just one simple website, click on some links, and then verify that it works. So let's get started. So first, I am going to uh, install Cypress, I'm going to create a project here. Actually, I'm in Windows, so I just have to create a folder, Cypress. Then I go to Cypress, npm init dash y. So what we'll do is create a package dot JSON file and it has all those things configured. So then, what I'm going to do is uh, npm install Cypress. So this is this is the the command install the Cypress. All the commands are given in my uh, blog as well. You can just copy this and uh, run it here. So. Uh, Installing Cypress sometimes can take time. I think two or three minutes, maybe five minutes, just on your internet connection and network capacity. So you just right, have a grab of have a cup of coffee or two and then come back in five or four minutes. So my uh, installation is done. So there it says all okay. Then what I'm going to run is this command. So it is called npx cypress open. So this will open a UI, which you can actually uh, kind of use it for your cypress configuration and also creating files, etc. So So uh, this is going to load uh, in kind of a like uh, browser kind of interface. So this is the interface and I'm going to choose end-to-end -end interface. I'm going to continue. Then what I'm going to do is uh, I will get a uh, produce Chrome for doing the system. So that's really my browser. Then I'm going to create a new spec here. Get spec. Okay, this has a default uh, kind of like example dot cypress dot io so that it loads it and visits the page. But I don't want to do that. I want to do it on my own. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to open the VS Code here. This will open VS Code for this screen, and I'm going to open Cypress. In to end, end to end, e to e, and then spec dot site of JS. So oops. good. Uh, let's change this thing. Uh, I want to do it. Uh, com, and if you save it, you will now see in this screen that. Uh, Skin is updated automatically, and uh, you see that um, now the test is running on my website, not with the um, sample website. But remember that uh, use your own website, otherwise, um, it might be like if it's too busy in my website and then my little blog, and then you're not getting results. So you will get frustrated. So try to use some like public websites, which is highly available. It's not down or something. Okay, I have a very limited capacity for my blog. So if you try to load with 
10 request to time the format. Okay, it's already being loaded. So, what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to just uh, run this thing. So, this is also another thing. First, I'm going to visit it and then I'm going to search for the uh, text DevOps and then click that link. I'm going to save this. Let's see if this is working. Not sure why it's taking time, but let's see. Did I miss something? Did I miss... Oh. I think I must spell it. I think there was a typo. There was was an issue. Hmm. Strange, but let's, let's try to. Is my website is up and running? Mm, yeah, it is up and running. Let's see. I just copy the URL. Something that's strange. Maybe I try to rerun the service one more time. So let's see. I close this. I close this as well. Okay. Now let's try to reopen it. If we restart the service Y, and then I'm going to put the implement testing. Then Chrome. And here we are for the specs. And then here is one spec. Let's try to run it and see if this is still raising over. Yeah, now it's okay. Probably something wrong and that time. So default blank screen. Maybe try different words like uh, to like in some role the cycles to find right. Okay, let's try to do this because I'm not sure. Probably something is wrong with my website. It's not able to find out to do this. I'm going to change the world. So let's try to 
click here and then I'm going to um, search for this one contains. So, uh, okay, what happened is that uh, first it visit the page and then I was looking for contents and then I clicked that link. So it was actually basically, if you actually click here, it will also show you the same thing. Okay, this is one example. Another example can be like, you can do logins using this script. You can click buttons, you can submit forms, you can do like UI testing, whether, uh, for example, in the head element, that there should be some meta tags that needs to be presented. And that's maybe not there. So all the things you can do with Cypress. I'm going to create uh, some more videos on Cypress, especially like uh, whether you have this kind of uh, form validation. And using Cypress, you can actually check all the validations that has been added. Like you try to give some non-valid email addresses, it should block you. Try to give some kind of a like abnormal email uh, data that it should block you. So all those things that we can do with separate testing. I'm going to create one by one tutorials. So this is the video one, and uh, hopefully you will like it. So that's it for today. I hope you like this video. If you do, please subscribe to my channel, and uh, that will help me to create more content. So, yes, thank you. Have a nice day. Bye bye.